Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. So, the Mongols are trying to send the settlers south. Let's maybe block their way. We got 3000 gold anyway. Three and a half even. We might as well block his way. We'll just buy two tiles and that way he can't go through here. He would have to go all the way around. Other than that, we are ready to declare war on Poundmaker. Let's just do that right away. It will be a formal war. And let's get started, shall we? We'll have to get rid of that encampment district first. Because otherwise we'll keep taking bombardment damage. Which isn't exactly what we want, that's for sure. Let's see, what about that field cannon army? We can move it through on the next turn. Okay, looks good. Also, we are about to get a pretty useful great engineer. Instantly builds a factory and a workshop in this district. And all factories provide plus two production. We are about to finish an industrial zone in Rostavi. So that's convenient timing. And last but not least, in a few turns, we'll be able to fight by a great general. And it's a quite useful one too. Plus 5 combat strength and plus 1 movement to modern and atomic era land units within 2 tiles. Plus 1 movement would be pretty useful. If we don't spend faith, Georgia will beat us to it. So I'm just going to wait a few turns and then use faith. Right now we don't have enough. But we will have enough soon enough. Anyway, I think that's all we can do on this turn. Looks like it. Fortify. As for the Masked Man, let's send him south. He can help with the Barbarians. Because one guy might not be enough. I guess we'll find out. Poundmaker does have some infantry, but that shouldn't be a huge problem for us. We have a lot of firepower. So, production. Let's check Rostavi first. No point starting a workshop, since we'll be using a great engineer for that. Probably best to get some units, like artillery. Can't go wrong with artillery. Or we could recruit another spy. That's not a bad idea, let's get a spy. And repair the holy site. This is our lowest production city. It might be worth using a trade route in here to get more hammers. We only got 5 hammers right now, that's just bad. We can get up to 11, but that's about it. 11 is still really bad. Another great work. Alright, so... Let's see, how about we kill that infantry first? Pretty sure we can do it. Something like this. He's going down. He's dead. Nice. Okay, other than that, barbarians. Not on this turn. We still got one unimproved tile near our capital, but there are no spare builders in that area at the moment. And it's not a tile that's being worked at the moment. The barbarians are trying. <laughs> Well, all right. We might want to be careful here. Probably best to stay fortified. Yep. All right, more infantry incoming. Let's just kill it then. Encampment will have to wait. We'll take a little bit of damage from encampment, but I suppose we can deal with that. He's not quite dead. Just stay fortified. We could send the knight, but I'm pretty sure he's just going to get killed. So that's not a brilliant idea. We can however send a fresh unit to the front. And then kill the infantry. Okay, the city is right here. Good to know. Now we can send the knight. 
and I'll probably move the Masked Man army into our own encampment district. Just to protect it. Okay, sounds good. Can't go through here, unfortunately. Since we cannot get open borders with Georgia. <laughs> There's no way Georgia will give us open borders. Unless we declare war or something like that. It's not going to happen otherwise. Which is fine, we don't need it. I mean, this is a choke point, but there's a road. So it's not nearly as annoying as it would have been without a road. Okay, one down. Let's have a look, maybe back up with the knight. Let's hit the encampment, shall we? I don't want it bombarding us. What tile is this? That's a district. So we will not heal by pillaging it. Let's just move into our own district for now. And we can fortify until healed. And we got the engineer. We'll send him to Rostavi. Also, our spy got promoted. Con artist. Siphon funds as if two levels more experienced. Fabricate Scandal as if two levels more experienced. And create Unrest as if two levels more experienced. So Unrest reduces loyalty. I think I'll go for Con Artist. Gold is always nice, we can use it to buy units. Yeah sure, Con Artist is fine. And move the engineer to Rostavi. Off you go. We'll pop him on the next turn. And do we have enough faith for a general? Yes, we do. Okay, let's buy the general, because otherwise Georgia might beat us to it. And it's not like we have anything else to spend our faith on. And that general is going to be quite useful, so yep. Seems like an obvious choice. Where is he? In our capital. Right, we can't move him on this turn. That's fine. Not much else we can do on this turn, I suppose. Yup. That's pretty much it. He is trying. I'll give him credit for that. <laughs> Alright, let's maybe back up a little bit. I don't want to lose more units to Barbarians. Here's another promotion for our field cannon. I will pick that up. Let's get suppression. So that it will exercise zone of control. That is quite useful. And hit the encampment, like so. Now it won't bombard us anymore. We can't quite kill the field cannon right now. But we can get rid of the encampment. Okay, we should be fine here, I think. Production. Armory, seven turns. We could just get a unit. I don't think we need builders at the moment. Not really, no. We can also get more artillery. Oh yeah, let's repair outer defenses real quick. That's only one turn. Might as well get it done. Here's new artillery, that will come in handy. And where do we send our spy? That's a good question, actually. Maybe to some city we won't be capturing? It's a shame we don't know where exactly the Mongols are, or the Scots. Let's just send him here and siphon some funds. Because I don't think I'll be bothering with that city. I just want the capital and that's it. That's all we really need from Poundmaker. Move the general. And use the engineer. So that will give us extra production in every city with a factory. Quite useful. And instant workshop as well as factory in Rostavi. 
We might want to back up with that pike and shot. And kill these units attacking us. Before we really go for the city itself. Alright, and we can pillage the trade route. 140 gold, I'll take it. Now. Which guy do we kill first? We can embark with the pike and shot. That might be better. Hold on. I think we can kill the field cannon, actually. Yes, we can, quite easily, too. If we embark, the city bombardment will hit us. But if we don't, it will also hit us. Hold on, can we move into the encampment district? Mm, no, not quite, we can't. Okay, I thought we might be able to, but no. Okay then. He has 45 health. Let's stay on the road. Oh, actually, yeah, we can move all the way back. No problem then. Off you go. And heal up. So, what's next? Armory, seven turns. Builder. We don't really need a builder all that much. Let's grab an armory. Sure. Lumber mill, lumber mill. And send one more guy to the front. Yep, might as well. The knight is probably a little bit too weak to be useful here. But we can still send an extra body to the front. He won't get killed from full health. And what do we attach the general to? For now, the field cannon. Or maybe the musketman army. Okay, sure, musketman army is fine. Here you go. And that's pretty much it. As for the barbarians, let's just back up and let them come to us. We need to heal both these units to full. He's still trying. Emergency is done. Doesn't really matter. He'll just get some gold. Which is pretty much irrelevant. He can give us that gold as part of the deal. <laughs> we'll get that gold one way or the other. Once we wreck his capital. So, Bolawayo production. Let's maybe grab a museum. We got quite a few antiquity sites. Would be nice to get the artifacts from them. Yup. So, back to the siege. We can back up with that knight. Kill that guy first. We can kill the knight instantly with our Maskerman army. Yeah, and then actually start doing damage to the city itself. It shouldn't take very long. Three or four turns, max. I don't think it will take longer than that. Okay, barbarians are coming. Let's just stay fortified. He's probably going to attack us anyway. Because barbarians tend to be suicidal a lot of the time. <laughs> now we can pillage the tile to heal our musketman. Yep. He killed himself on us. It's the industrial revolution. And we finished urbanization. So now we have the neighborhood anonymity. district. I don't think I want to change any policies. Plus one error score. We are also about to finish flight. And the next civic is probably going to be mobilization. 
Yep. And now we can actually build the neighborhood district in some of our cities. We definitely will. How about this one? 21 turns. That's a lot of turns. Yeah, we don't have an industrial zone in here. Let's maybe build that first. Preferably not on a hill. Over here is fine. We could still use another builder in this area. How about we just buy one? We can afford it, might as well just buy one. Works for me. And back to the siege first. Oh, is this a district? What is this? Lumber mill. We can get some science. He has 77 health, he'll be fine. We just need to move around slightly. I can't attack anything from this tile, which is a little bit irritating. Let's do damage to that infantry. He's dead. We pretty much got this. One or two more turns should do it. We got a promotion. Battle cry is good. And we still got 4000 gold. Our alliance expired. Yep, we can extend it. They are still friendly. Having an alliance is a if pretty you can big walk modifier. Away from a landing, Once a you get one, you can usually maintain it. Let's check our relations. First, let's actually extend the alliance. And we can check our relations. Plus 18 because we're an ally and a lot of other modifiers. Are we going to get level 3 in this game? Well, maybe, maybe not. We are not quite close. And we got flight. Should build an aerodrome somewhere. First neighborhood. Looks like plus 4 is about the best one in this area. Well, plus 5 if we buy one tile. Probably worth doing. We have the money. And one turn to build a neighborhood district in our capital. Same story here, I would have to buy a tile. We can get plus 5 if we replace a farm. I think that's acceptable. So plus 5 and then we'll grab a builder. Because we are still missing an improvement or two, or three. Replaceable parts. Since we already got a boost for that. And let's go clear any barbarians that might still be left. There's still a scout over there. Back to the siege. I think we can just take the city right now. We should be able to. Or we can wait one more turn. Let's just wait one more turn. It's not like the city is going anywhere. What do you want? Oh, he actually wants to trade luxuries. Okay. Hi, hey, fine by me. And he will go for a one for one deal. I didn't actually expect that, seeing how he's denouncing us. Plus three error score. Nice. How's our error score anyway? 109. So we already got normal age. We might be able to get another golden age. We aren't too far away. We'll see. So next up a builder. We need one real quick. Minus one amenities in Olondi. We can solve that. No problem. First get the builder. Next up. Neighborhood I think. Let's see, plus 5. If we replace the forest, plus 6 up here. That's actually required for one of the boasts. 
if I'm not mistaken. Which one is that? Yeah, this one. Conservation. So that will give us conservation boost once it's finished. Back to production. Amphitheater is good. And let's take the city already, shall we? Yep, it's ours now. How about we do it with the knight? So that he can get upgraded to an army. Yep. Here we go, so now it's an army. And obviously keep the city. And next up we are going for his capital, but first we need to move a governor. Let's have a look, which one do we move? I don't think it matters all that much. We can move Reina. We probably need Liang in here for now. We definitely need Magnus to stay where he is, because that's vertical integration, and I would prefer to not move the educator. So Reina it is then. Reassign. It's still going to be minus two, but that should go to zero if we build a monument. Yep, it should be fine. And it will go up once we capture another city nearby. Where do you think you're going? So how about we get rid of that barbarian camp? It's been long enough. Let's remove these notifications. They aren't super useful. Yes, I'm aware we need amenities. Minus one is fine. So next up, the capital. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, new musket man. Let's see, we can merge him with an existing musket man. Might as well do that. Five turns. Might not be a bad idea to speed up that monument a little bit. Because monument is worth loyalty. Yeah, how about we do that? Well, two turns. Okay, loyalty is up. It's fine then. Let's keep pushing, shall we? We'll back up with the knight and move the field cannon into the city. And move artillery into position. Oh nice, we got an encampment district to the east. That is quite useful. I like how they are sending a settler when their capital is under siege. How's that working out for you? Probably not very well. Off you go, everyone to the front. And keep at least one unit inside the city for loyalty. Oh, and the spy. First, gain sources. Actually, we don't really have to do that. Let's do it anyway. Okay, merge the musket men. And we got one more artillery incoming. Just play it safe and fortify. Some extra food for our city. This game is pretty much in the bag, I think. It's going to be mostly a formality finishing it. He wants peace. I'm not quite interested, sorry. I got other plans. I like how the barbarians just kill themselves on our units. <laughs> oh nice, a settler. I don't think I'm going to bother starting it another city, but I suppose we can get a settler for free. 
And we got another great person. Great writer this time. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. And Olondi, there's the builder. Now we can get a few more improvements. And we'll pop the writer right away. What's next? Let's have a look. Military Academy, six turns. We could get another wonder. Eiffel Tower. 27 turns is a little bit too much. How about we get a quick archaeologist? That's only six turns and we have quite a few antiquity sites in the area. Works for me. A new spy. And let's check production. We can still get more spies. How about we get either an observation balloon or artillery? One observation balloon will be useful. We can grab it. As for the trade route, let's boost our lowest production city. So that's Jinju. It's just so low on production. It will be like a 50% boost. Because it's that low. Bank. I don't think we need a builder. We can get an observation balloon here that's closer to the front line. And switch Rostavi to something else. Like what? You know what? Let's build that bank. More gold is never a bad thing. So, one more artillery. This one needs to be within two tiles. So, like this. Okay, that should be nice firepower. Just watch any units that might be incoming. And they're trying to attack us. Production, yep. Let's grab production. And some more mines. Oh, and we're about to finish replaceable parts, which unlocks infantry. And we still got professional army active. So we can upgrade right away. Many of us take better care of our There we go. So let's upgrade right away. 440 gold. Not exactly cheap, but that's fine. Here, our first infantry and an army right away. Okay then. Let's target this city. And this guy. Goodbye. It's been nice not knowing you. And one more artillery. We can merge this one with the artillery in the front. Can't quite have it in range. We'll keep it in the city as garrison. Sounds good. Let's take a look with the knight. Attacking his capital should be easier. What about research? I'm thinking combustion. Or maybe sanitation. When are we going to finish two neighborhoods? Eight turns. Six turns. Okay, never mind. I don't think we'll be building two shipyards. Let's grab steam power then, because we can boost pretty much everything here. Including advanced ballistics, I guess. And we need steam power. We need steam power for electricity. Right, and we need electricity if we want to build two power plants. Okay, steam power is fine. We probably want power plants ASAP anyway, because, you know, production. And there's no way I'll be building free privateers. This is not a naval game. <laughs> not even close. Industrial zone, to at least improve production in here a little bit. And what's next? Military academy, 11 turns. 
can't build another district just yet. We could get a neighborhood, which is not a bad idea. It won't be an amazing one. We can get plus five. That's good enough. Okay, looks like that's it. Oh wait, we didn't get that pasture after all. <laughs> we'll get it on the next turn. Like some magistrate. One more great work. And a mine. Oh yeah, builder. Just go for production, that's why he's there. Fortify and let the barbarian attack us. That's the easiest way. And he is going to attack. Not much I can do with the field cannon, let's just keep it where it is. We will destroy city fortification on the next turn. He is still trying to defend himself. I mean, I can't blame him, it is his capital after all. But not for much longer. It is going down soon enough. We will get rid of the fortification, I think. Might be better to attack with the field cannon. Yeah, let's back up with the artillery. Move in with the field cannon. Not quite as much damage as I hoped. We'll attack the infantry then. Would have been better to attack it twice, but oh well, it's fine. Fortify. And merge these. Here we go. And we can move infantry to the front. Sounds good, let's do that. It's a stronger unit. A much stronger unit. 92 melee strength. That is pretty good. Nobamba, industrial zone. Or maybe we should get a harbor. We don't have too many harbors and extra gold is always nice. How's loyalty now? Minus 8. We will take the capital and that will improve loyalty. Because of population nearby. There's the pasture. Anything else? Yeah, we can pillage the trade route. Thanks for the gold. Appreciated. Looks like we actually lost something. Oh, was it the knight? Okay, it was the knight actually. Yeah, the knight isn't super strong. When they are it's fine. For war, There's mobilization. Awesome. And plus one era score. How's our era score? 112. We only need six more and then we'll get a golden age. I wouldn't mind the golden age. We should be able to get it. Shame about that knight, but I suppose we can replace him. We can build a knight in eight turns. What about our capital? What is it doing right now? Oh yeah, finishing archaeologist. Okay. First, let's attack the city. Now it won't be able to bombard us anymore. Fill up the artillery. And kill that infantry corps. Okay, it's just a formality at this point. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.